my poem is on page 89, and it's titled, Mr. Guzman Makes a Fool of Himself. He told me about traveling with the pickers through the hot fields of Missouri and Iowa. How when they got words the, fur, the feds were coming, the people would run for the buses, while he emptied a bottle of whiskey over his head. When the sheriff arrived, he'd be found stumbling alone in the field, singing old rancheras they could not understand, ignoring the laughter of deputies who'd throw him in jail to sober up while they called the feds. He said he'd take a nice long nap, and when he knew the buses were in the next county, would stand up and yell, Hey, pendejos, I fought in the Korean War. I'm a U.S. citizen, and I know my rights. I'm entitled to my one phone call. He always had a grin on his face, remembering the startled look of their faces. <laughs> uh, it's called Tia is a menace to the Cuban Revolution, and it's uh, uh, based on, a, on my aunt, Fefa, Tia's aunt in Spanish. She would leave her family, her home, and belongings, but Tia Fefa wouldn't leave everything to the glorious Cuban Revolution. And this is how the Afefa went under anesthesia, allowing her dentist husband to drill out her healthy molars. It became a story in our family, the Afefa and her stealthy molars, which carried small treasure past the airport security as they left, kept safe in the back of her mouth, off the island, all the way to Madrid, and then to the United States, where it allowed them to begin again. In the first telling, it was diamonds then rubies and, and, and emeralds, until the Afefa's molars grew to the size of refrigerator trucks. <laughs> she would leave her family, her home, and belongings, but the Afefa wouldn't leave everything, the glorious Cuban Revolution. And one last uh, poem about uh, the audaciousness in nature. This is a type of monarch butterfly. They appear like pieces of orange gauze, the fluttering benedictions of the old goddess eats Papalotl, the fearsome skeleton of bird and fire that represented mothers who had died in childbirth. They cross over land and water from Isla Mujeres on the Yucatan over straight to the Juanajacabibes of Cuba, to the phalangeal bones of Cayo Hueso and North America. Who can stop the insistence of butterflies? Who pass from one generation to the next through chrysalis and death, the cyclical routes of migration that obeys a higher order, that flutters over serpentine rivers, that laughs at the false borders of men?